Question eight. How many three-digit numbers are there in which the tens and the ones digits are different? Okay, so I'm going to start by just making three lines here. Now, in order to be a three-digit number, it can't start with a zero, because if it starts with a zero, then we actually have a two-digit number. 075 is just 75. So if it's not a zero, there are nine options. It can be one through nine. The second digit can be anything we want it to be. There are no restrictions. And that means we have 10 choices for that spot. And since the third digit, the ones digit, has to be different than the second digit, we have uh, 10 numbers, but we can't have it the same. So there's only going to be nine. And if we multiply those together, we're going to get 810. Now, another way we could think about this problem, if you'd rather do it this way, and by all means, I'm not saying one of these is better than the other, just another way of thinking about it, is to look at it indirectly and say, well, how many three-digit numbers are there? And that means the first digit can't be a zero again. The second digit uh, can be anything. The third digit can be anything. Well, that's 900. Now, how many of them have the same uh, tens and ones digit? Well, this can be anything, and this can be uh, one. Sorry, it doesn't have to be a one. It has to be the same digit as the tens digit if it's going to be identical digits. So either way, there's 90 where the two last digits are the same. And since we don't want those, we have to subtract it from the original, and that gives us 810 different uh, problems. So the first method is the direct way of doing it, and the second method is the indirect way of doing it. In this case, I think the direct is easier, but both logics work just fine.